Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome to just another quick tutorial video, this time covering totems and ceremonies, as well as the medicine bag, though if you're playing Septec Ages, I believe the medicine bag is disabled, um, I have everything unlocked at the moment, it doesn't show up in here, so, uh, but I am going to go ahead and cover it just because we're covering totems and, and whatnot, so, anyways, totems are very early game, very easy to craft, beacons, basically is the way to look at them. So right here, um, this is the Totempedia, which of course is invaluable if you're doing anything with uh, Totemic. It's just kind of nice to have. It covers all your ceremonies and stuff. Um, if you click here under Totem Effects, it's going to tell you all the different effects. I'm not going to go over each of these because they're self-explanatory. They tell you what they do right in here. Um, but let's say, for example, we wanted to get a speed boost. Okay. It's very, very simple. All you have to do is take a couple pieces of wood, and it can be pretty much any vanilla wood. Um, I know red cedar works. Um, you can see a list of all the wood right in here. So it's all the vanilla wood and then red cedar is what you have available for making totems. And then what you're going to do is get a totem whittling knife, and you can hold shift and scroll wheel, and you can scroll through this. And the first thing you want to select is totem base, and you're just going to right click the bottom and it turns it into a totem base, okay? And then you're gonna scroll for your effect. And all the different animals are listed. We're gonna go with horse because that's the speed boost. And we're gonna apply that to our totem. And so now if we get near this, you can see that I just got speed, okay? Um, now the range on these is not very big, but it's gonna keep applying speed to me whenever I'm within range of the totem. And the range is only about five blocks. So right now I'm five blocks from the totem, or I'm six blocks from the totem. If I get within five blocks, there we go, I get speed. Okay. Now, in addition, that's just a basic a one block totem. You can mix these effects. So let's say, for example, we wanted to build a totem here with two effects. We're going to go ahead and put horse on this one. Now, you don't have to apply um, the totem base first. It is required for the totem to work. But you don't have to apply it first. And then let's apply a uh, rabbit to it, which is jump height. So... We've got speed, and now we have jump boost when we're near this totem. Okay? And then, in addition, let's come over here, and let's do a totem that's max height, for example. Um, which max height is 6, and that is including the totem base. So we'll put down our totem base, and then let's apply... I'll show you something neat here that's actually not talked about in the totempedia. If we put a horse right there, you'll notice that... Which I should be out of range for that one. I get a speed boost. Okay. If I apply a second horse, I still only have speed one. At the third horse, now we have speed two. And then we can do four horses. We still only have speed two. But then once we hit that five, that fifth horse, now we have speed three. Okay. Now, for example, if I was to come up here, now I'm seven meters high, and I was to put a rabbit up there you can see that I only have speed three. So it is only six totem poles tall. Um, that includes the totem base. So this seventh block up here isn't going to have any effect at all. That's too tall for the totem. So you do have a limit. Now in addition, if we were to set up, let's go ahead and set up a bunch of totems here. And this is just to show you that this does not work. So if we were to turn all of these into horse totems, you'll notice that I still only have speed one. Okay, this is only going to have a boosted effect if it's within one totem. Now, you could do a totem here that has, you know, speed three from horses. You could do another one next to it that has rabbits with, like, jump boost three. Then you could do another one next to it that has, like, haste three, um, which is buffalo. So, I mean, you can do it that way, but you can't, you know, having a bunch of totems, they can't combine their effects together um, to make, like, speed three. It all has to be within one totem. And, I mean, that pretty much covers the totems and how to set those up. I mean, like I said, the Totempedia is going to tell you all the different effects. I mean, there's some really nice ones like Blaze. gives you fire resistance. Really good for hunting blazes. Then you have, like, Night Vision. You have Ocelot, which keeps creepers from exploding. You have Fortune or Luck. Um, so all these different things that you can apply. Now, in addition, one other thing about the totems is there is the medicine bag. You can sneak right-click on a totem to set the effect. So, for example, if I come over here, this is a horse totem. And we shift right-click. You can see it says medicine bag horse. And actually, I need to stand next to this a little bit longer. You can see there's a little bar here that's filling up. 
that's like basically storing the effect from that totem. And once again, if you're playing Subtech Ages, which this is kind of being made in conjunction with Subtech Ages, but if you're playing Subtech Ages, the medicine bag does not work. So right now it says close. What we can do, we're out here, we don't have speed. We can right click this and open it. And there we go, it applies the speed boost. Now you'll notice it's not giving me speed three. It only takes an effect from one part of the totem. It doesn't take an effect from the entire totem. So um, you're only able to carry one effect per medicine bag, but of course you can carry multiple medicine bags if you so desire. Um, but they're not going to stack. I mean, you're not gonna get like the speed three and stuff from those. And then moving on to ceremonies. Ceremonies are covered within the Totempedia once again, right here. So I'm not gonna go over each of these. Um, it's very, very well detailed in here. Um, but if you take a look at the Totempedia and you scroll over, you can see musical selectors. It says totem is drum, totem is drum. Um, what this is, that's how you start your ceremony. Okay, let's come over here. And what we're going to do, we're going to set up our Totemus drum. You only need one of these. Even though it shows two, you only need one. And then what we can do is we can put uh, music, uh, musical instruments around this. Now, wind chimes, by the way, it doesn't have to be red cedar for this to work. I'm using red cedar, but you can use oak or spruce or whatever you so desire. So wind chimes, basically they have to hang off of something. And these are going to help quite a bit. You can see they're starting to make music already, and they're going to like shimmer um, and shake whenever they start playing music but what wind chimes do is they apply like a passive music effect they are needed for a selector for certain ceremonies but generally what they're going to do is whenever you're going through the ceremony they're just going to add additional music uh, for free like they just play on their own so you don't have to worry about them but then what we're going to need to do actually i do need a totem whittling knife we're going to have to set up a totem because your ceremonies have to kind of channel into a totem um, and it doesn't have to be like super tall. We can just do it one high and that's perfectly fine. And it can be any effect on there. Um, actually, I think you can just do a totem base if you want. Uh, but I could be wrong about that. But you can see the music is going to this totem. Okay. But then what we're going to do, if we want to start the ceremony, let's go ahead and remove this stuff. We're going to, for example, we're wanting to do the war dance, which is musical selector, totemus drum, totemus drum. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift right click like that and you can see it starts up like kind of like a little mini game and then what we're gonna have to do inventory is all messed up we're gonna have to play music and it's best if you bounce between like a couple different uh, musical instruments so you notice I'm bouncing between the rattle and the infused flute but you can see war dance gives us speed two and strength two for three minutes it's quite powerful quite effective um, so whenever you're doing those ceremonies, it's best, like, the more instruments you have and the more you alternate between those, the better. Because you do get diminished returns when you play the same um, instruments consecutively. And these can be done without the wind chime, though the wind chime is required for um, some of the stuff. I think, uh, let's see, the Mandan Buffalo Dance does require a wind chime. Now these, you can shift right click them but you can't right click them to make any music once you hit that mini game it's best if you just leave the wind chimes alone let them do their thing while you focus on uh, doing the drum the infused flute the rattle i will say the infused flute it's a ceremony that you're gonna have to do it's very very easy to do only requiring a flute um, i would suggest you get a flute and a drum and maybe a wind chime and maybe even a rattle too if you can if you you know if you can afford all of those that's great they're not very expensive that just gives you more variety to kind of go through this little mini game. Um, but infusing the flute, it's going to become more powerful. It's going to create more musical energy. And in addition, it can, um, I don't think horses actually work. Oh, they do. Okay. You can hit right click and you can have animals follow you with this. And villagers too. So kind of like the Pied Piper. I wasn't able to get it to work with chickens, um, at least in my actual, like, on the server. I wasn't able to get it to work with chickens, but um, it does say all animals, so maybe. I have got it to work with cows and buffalo, though, and now horses. So. But, I mean, that's pretty much it. There was also the totemic staff, and you can see, if we right-click this, it says the totem pole is not doing a ceremony. So what we can do, if we shift-right-click, shift-right-click, and then take our totemic staff, it says the totem pole is doing a, a ceremony startup war dance. Let's set it to survival. And then if I left-click, say it cancels that uh, ceremony that's ongoing. That's basically how the totemic staff works. So just kind of a handy tool for 
and you know controlling your rituals if you accidentally do like say the war dance and you're trying to do something else because i do that sometimes and just on accident i'll just shift click twice without thinking and it'll start the war dance then you can just cancel that so um but as far as the musical selectors i mean the the totempedia tells you once again it tells you everything uh, that you need to know so you know, look right here and you need totemus drum and eagle bone whistle um, and then you just shift right click. Now, whenever you're in the world and you're activating, like during the little mini game, you just right click. But to start it, you shift right click. Anyways, I hope it helped. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys then.